I do a lot of hiring of consultants on a regular basis. And one of the things that I've seen in other programs is that we have some really skilled technical people, but they ha don't have experience with communication. They don't have experience listening to a client, interpreting the client's needs, uh, speaking to the client. And oftentimes, one of the biggest skills that we look for is the ability to do a very technical uh, piece of work, but then be able to explain that piece of work to someone who is not as technical as you. And I think the capstone really allows them not just to do the technical work, because there's lots of people that can do technical work out there, but it's a question of taking that technical work and then being able to express it, explain it, go into, you know, get practice explaining your ideas. Because as a consultant, communication is key. Communication with your team, communication in listening to the needs with your clients, and then being able to help your clients understand some of the complex analyses that were done. If we can't explain it, it doesn't matter how technical you are, it's not, your report is not going to be useful in any way. So now there's a lot of integration of IT concepts, and whether it's taught within the programs itself, or whether it's students that are going ahead and trying to supplement some of their work with courses on their own or certificates here and there, we're seeing that the, 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 you know, the, the bar has been raised in terms of uh, the knowledge of the students when they come into KPMG. And they have a lot more experience with data, experience with programming languages and other software tools than they would have had even five years ago. We've hired several people from the program. In the last year, there's been about four that we've hired right out of the program uh, that have come in. Some have had previous experience in consulting. Some, it's they're brand new to consulting. But I think that experience in the capstone allows them to at least have some experience just in with respect to their education and having people that went through that experience, even if they don't have consulting experience, it would give them a leg up on somebody who uh, again, maybe doesn't have any consulting experience and only has more of a technical background without having had the practice to work with clients and uh, integrate some of their feedback in real time. I really enjoyed uh, working with the students as part of the, the capstone. I felt like I really didn't know what I got myself into at the beginning, um, but I felt that there was a lot of different touch points along the way. I could really see how the students had evolved based on my original ask. They were able to flesh out questions that maybe I hadn't thought through or look at things from a different lens. And I think that stems from the fact that there's so many people with different experiences that come to this program, that it's not a very, it's not just a homogeneous group where everyone has the exact same background. And the fact that you had this diverse background meant that they could kind of attack the problem from a lot of different angles and, and work together and collaborate to put something together that was, uh, that was very interesting for us as well. I think in general, the, the evolution has been that everybody needs to use data in, in terms of what they do. There's nothing, there's nothing at KPMG and in the consulting space that doesn't use data. And I think 10 years ago, that would have been different, where you had people in the forensic accounting group that were looking at fingerprints or signatures and saying, does this match? Like, all of that is really pushed to the side. And all of our consulting work now involves data from one aspect or another. And I have plenty of clients now that say, I have to reevaluate who I'm hiring for a certain role. So as an example, five years ago, internal audit groups within all of my clients, all of the internal auditors were CPAs. That was their background. They had a, you know, they had a degree in management. They did you know, an accounting major or minor. They wanted to work in internal audit. Nowadays, internal audit teams are saying, well, we need someone that has a data background. Not even, we don't even care if they're a CPA or not. We want someone who knows how to, how to transform data, manipulate data, and help us drive more uh, interesting conclusions quicker. And so what we're seeing is teams that historically uh, never looked outside a certain type of graduate, all of a sudden are saying, we need to supplement, and we have to change our hiring procedures to start integrating people that have this kind of background. Because we can see that if we don't do it, our competitors are getting that competitive advantage. and we want to be able to keep up and even be leading edge compared to our competitors. So I think we're seeing historic departments like those kinds of departments who have hired from a homogeneous base in the past 
have now said, well, we have to think differently. Is this really the type of profile that we need? Can we bring in someone that maybe thinks a bit differently than the type of individual we've had in the past? Thank you.